Hey everyone, welcome to Cryptonatic where I cover all things related to Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. Um, now I haven't been able to make a video or any content for that matter in quite some time. Um, today I'd like to take a look at the market. Where are we heading? Are we heading to zero? Is Bitcoin actually going to go to zero or are we going to shoot back up to the previous highs and beyond? I'd like to get into a bit of technical analysis, looking at the charts, looking at news, where I'm at and what's been happening since I've last made a video. Now, for those that want to skip ahead to that, please do so. Um, there's also a timestamp below, but I just like to, since I haven't been here for a while, just go through uh, who I am, what I do and um, yeah, so my two main platforms is YouTube and Facebook. So I enjoy making videos and getting out content and teaching people about Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. So do feel free to subscribe to my channel and also check out previous videos that I have made. Um, also Facebook where I'm very active um, usually now in the last uh, few weeks I haven't been too active and I'd actually like to say thank you to everyone that's in the group that's still being active posting links uh, giving info when I have not been able to um, but yeah also join that but you can also find me on these social media handles where I do post or am planning to again post a few stuff about cryptocurrencies um, more often Right, so now since December we have just been falling and falling in price and it's actually been quite depressing. Um, ideally you'd like to sell at the top here and buy at the bottom and in that way make the maximum amount of money and s people keep predicting no this is what's going to happen this is what's going to happen no we're going lower we're going higher and nobody actually knows because the market does just what it wants to people like me and many others speculate we make predictions according to knowledge that we have that what we see going on and from there we try to make predictions so that we can make money now markets work in cycles they go up they come down they go up again they come down and that's how things have worked um, if you even just look at Bitcoin um, uh, let me just you can see here that previously it's gone up it goes down it goes up it goes down and so these market cycles work and in these market cycles you get different emotions and this type of cycle that you see here on the screen is a typical representation of how people feel as the price goes up people get greedy they buy more they buy more and here is actually the highest level of financial risk and it's here where you need to sell so going back to Bitcoin as I said here at the top we need to sell but generally people want to keep on holding to what is good price is going up I feel good I'm making money so they buy more and they start to get greedy and that is actually the time that you need to sell but stuff uh, what goes up must come down and the price of Bitcoin and all cryptocurrencies started to fall and you can go through each of these emotions and if you've been in cryptocurrency at least since December you'll probably experience all of these emotions I know I did and at the bottom here is where you feel total like you're a failure you've lost all your money but this is now the time to buy now where is the bottom where is the best time to buy nobody knows over here um, in February people thought that's the bottom bottom is in we're good you can buy here and from here we'll rocket to the moon over here they felt the same and now again but the thing is do you want to buy at these areas these prices at the bottom here or do you want to buy at the top here and at the end of the day you need to buy low doesn't have to be the most bottom and sell at the top even though it's not the highest uh, top right here but if you sell at the top here would you would have still been happy now on my Facebook page 
uh, quite a while ago or about a month or so ago I posted this about where we are heading could we be heading to 5000 what is happening and I also spoke about a triple bottom now a triple bottom is basically three points where the price bottoms out doesn't have to be the exact same price but it's a general area where the price bottoms and as we fall in that wedge we can then break out and go higher something that as price goes on as predictions carry on we saw that we might rather be in a falling wedge now the price uh, the price difference at the one side is quite big and it compresses compresses and from there it can shoot out he has some examples of a falling wedge and how the price can break out of here um, he has some more examples some more examples and we can see that Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are actually in that wedge and what I'd like to see and what I think would work out quite nicely remember do your own research and don't take whatever I say as that's what's going to happen and put all throw all your money at it but it looks like we're in this wedge and we can hopefully keep the six thousand dollar range move up to this eight thousand dollar range and break through this wedge and move up so all these pink lines are points where there's been a lot of price action where there's a lot of resistance or support so um, you can just see here over here over here over here over here we've had the price bounce off those lines so it's, it's like a mental blockage or support for the price so into more news and other related things of where we can see Bitcoin going now remember if Bitcoin goes up everything will go up Bitcoin is king it was the first and that's just how these markets work unfortunately they're not uh, they don't really uh, run um, individually it all looks to Bitcoin and from there on people make predictions or uh, yeah anyway so the CEO of Bitmex which is a huge um, exchange and trading platform he has been sticking to his guns and saying he is predicting Bitcoin to reach 50,000 by the end of the year now I'm going to post this link in the description below so check that out and you can see what he says and he's got some great points there um, and if you also think about it Bitcoin last year rose from where we are about now to from about six seven thousand to twenty thousand in just three weeks which is crazy so or, or about a month or so um, so anything is possible now am I saying Bitcoin will rise again to this 20,000 mark in a month I don't think so but the prices will go up I truly believe in the technology and I'd like to do more of the technology itself nothing to do with the price but blockchain technology but I do believe in time we will rise and prices will go up to 20,000 and beyond um, he has another prediction of um, Philip Nunn, the CEO of uh, the Blackmore Group, um, and he also made a prediction of Bitcoin reaching prices of sixty thousand. And there's more and more predictions of that. Now, what if Bitcoin crashes? What if Bitcoin goes down? Can it go down to zero? Well, there's also a great article of busting that myth and how Bitcoin can actually never really go down to zero um, I don't want to get into too much of the details but I'll also post this in the description below and you can go read that then some other news and things that can really push up the price because at the end of the day you can't just look at the price you can't just look at the markets there's usually news and things like that that um, influence people make emotional decisions and the price will shoot up or shoot down now um, about a month ago ethereum was um, official that it is not a security anymore um, if you want more information on that just go search that but that gives a lot of positivity in the market but it doesn't exactly mean there will be money flowing in something that will make a lot of money flow in 
is if the SEC, uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission of uh, USA, will actually announce that Bitcoin ETFs are available um, to be exchanged. That means it will be listed on um, exchanges where people with the general markets, um, the people with the billions, the normal stock exchanges, they have a much safer and easier way of buying Bitcoin. And that would be great for Bitcoin, for cryptocurrencies, and that is what we are waiting for. So I'll also link this in the description, but this is some great stuff that we are looking forward to that will hopefully push the price higher. I hope that gives a bit of perspective. Um, this is a first video of many that I'll be bringing out. I've got some great videos for South Africans. We've got um, how-to tutorials of buying Bitcoin in South Africa, um, as well as other discussions, etc. So stay tuned for that. Please remember to subscribe and share this video if it helped you out. But until next time, cheers.